If you seek power, you must first achieve balance. Hey everyone, Coach Scott here to help you with another instant challenge. Today we're going to do balance of power. For this challenge, we have to build a structure in this blue square that will support weight over each of these black squares. The rules state that the structure can only touch the ground inside this square. The structure may not be attached to this with the mailing labels and the weights may not be attached to the structure. To complete this challenge, we're going to use eight craft sticks, four mailing labels, four pipe cleaners, eight paper clips, four straws, and two pieces of paper. We're going to use quarters for our weights. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to build to go from this square to this square. Looking at my materials, it looks like the longest things we have are the straws and the pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are kind of flimsy. I don't think they're going to support anything. The straws, we might be able to have support some weight. In one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to combine straws. By pushing down and pinching, like you pinch your nose, you put the two together and they slide in nicely. So we'll do that for that one. Once again, you pinch, put the other one on top, like so, and you put them together. Okay, we want these to be the same length. So we're going to push this one in a little bit more. Okay. So this is long enough to hit both squares and sturdy enough, I think, to hold some quarters. But we want to keep these from coming apart. For that, we're going to use our paper clip trick. We're going to separate the paper clip like so. Put one end in that straw, the other end in this straw. And this time, we're going to make them bend that paper clip until they're together. Like that. Do the same thing for the other side. Put it in there, and that straw, and then, oh, put this side in this straw, and then we squeeze them together. Now those ends will stay together. We need to give the middle a little bit of support too. So for that, let's use a piece of paper. I'll show you a little trick. If we just folded it like this, it would only be that long. But if we try to get a diagonal, we get some more length out of it. So what we're going to do, stick our straw right here, and just start rolling it up. Push it in there so we get even. Look at that. Now we have some support to the straws as well. Use our mailing label. Now, remember what I've said before, you don't have to use the whole mailing label. We're just gonna use half of it to stick that paper down. Okay. And now we're getting somewhere. That's gonna go there nicely. Okay, so we have that way taken care of. Now we need to go this way. Now if we notice, this piece of paper is long enough. If we take this piece of paper, fold it in half, in half, and in half again, that will give us a nice little arm to balance things on. But there's no stability in here. So if we take 
one craft stick, put it right in the middle there, just like that. Take a paper clip, put that on there. It should hold that nicely. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Take a craft stick, put it right in there. Put a paper clip on. There we go. We got some stability there, but if you notice, it's gonna bend right in the middle. We're gonna fix that with two craft sticks and one paper clip. Craft stick on that side, one on this side. If you feel it, you'll see that this craft stick is actually overlapping the one inside there. So it's building a stronger support. Now if we take one paper clip, put it over both sides, now we have something that'll support some weight. See? And it'll fit over both sides. Just like that. So now we have this piece and we have this piece. I'm actually going to use a full mailing label to place this there. And you got it down on that side and down on this side. Okay. So we have the beginning of our structure. However, if we notice, those don't really hold quarters that well. If I were to take one of these, snap it in half, tuck this one into here, like so, and this one into here, it gives us a flatter surface to balance our quarters on. Like that. How do we make sure that stays secure? Let's use our half of mailing label. We don't need the whole thing. We're going to put that just over the paper and the craft stick, just to make sure that thing stays still. There. And there. This thing seems to be popping up a little bit. So to fix that, we're just gonna put a paper clip over the mailing label like that. Paper clip on this side as well. So what that'll do is that'll help that mailing label from popping up. Okay, so now we have the beginning of a solid structure be able to balance those onto there, like so. And we'll be able to balance quarters on here. Like so. But it's not really a structure. If you remember the rules, it says that it can only touch the inner square. Out here, we're touching these. We need to build some sort of base for this. There are no points for height. So we're going to go as low as possible to maintain stability. Plus, we don't have a lot of materials left. We have three craft sticks, two mailing labels, some pipe cleaners. Let's move this out of the way. Set that right there for now. Set our quarters down. Okay, we don't need it to be high. We just need it to lift this off the ground. I'm thinking something along the lines of this. Which means we need to tape these together. The first part, put them together. I'm gonna show you something here. You don't want to tape them like this 
and then bend them because that will rip the paper. That will rip the mailing label. Instead, put them together and then tape them like that. That way when you pull them out, it doesn't rip. You can fold these down. Remember, we're not allowed to have it attached to the table, so we want to make sure these are folded in. Okay. Just do a slight fold. That way you're folding and you're not ripping. You want to make sure these are standing pretty straight up though. So we're going to do the same thing with this, but you see we're out of running out of mailing label. So we're going to be a little more careful with this one. Same thing. Tape them together like that instead of like this. So you're going to do that. Put it on there. Put it on there. That way when we fold it back, it's not ripping. We want to do the same thing as we did the first time. We want to fold these over so they don't attach to the table and get us disqualified. So just folding those over. Just give it a nice little fold. There we go. Oh, we've got our triangle. We're going to take this piece here. Now this one's going to take a little tricky. This is where you're lucky you have teammates who can do different steps for you. You can have one person hold it while one person's taping it. I have to try to do both, which is sometimes tricky. All right, let's fold that piece over. Yeah, see how it's coming off? That's because I don't have someone to help me. Okay, we're gonna pinch that in, pinch that in, pinch that in, look at that. Now we have a triangle support our structure. Just like that. We need to attach this piece to the support. For that, we're going to take these. This one's going to wrap around this here and tie into that. This one is going to wrap around, tie to that. And this one's going to wrap around to that. First, let's get this out of the way so we don't accidentally rip it. Just wrap this around just a couple times. So we have something to work with. There we go. Same with this, just a couple times, wrap it around. Be very careful not to move the wood too much because we don't want to rip that tape. All we're doing is very carefully wrapping those around. Like that. Okay, very careful. I felt my structure starting to bend. Okay, very good. This piece here, let's move these down spread these out like that like that and like that so we can put this in here it's gonna go like so now all you have to do is take this piece twist it around until it's a little tight like that same thing with this piece. Up here and up here. Just twist it. Like this is another time it would be nice to have teammates because they can hold it while another person's twisting. There we go. Same thing with this piece. Hold it down and twist it. Now, as you can see, the entire structure is one piece. And it goes over all of the squares. Now let's try to add some quarters. We have a total of 12 quarters. So we're going to try to get three to balance over each square. 
arms are here, so those should be the easiest ones to do. So we're gonna take three quarters on each hand. Try to balance and put those on, see if they balance. Look at that. Now, let's try the longer arm. Remember, you want to try to place them onto that crafting stick, because that's the flat surface. Look at that, 12 weights, balanced. The structure is only in the blue square. The details and rules for this challenge are in the description down below. But remember, just because I did it this way doesn't mean you have to. The key is to use your creativity and your imagination to do things your way. In doing that, you'll be able to crash through all the challenges that life throws at you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post the next video.